hii ya ndugu yetu kijana mwanaspoti Kelvin Kiptum katika ghafla hii ya mazishi ya huyu kijana poleni sana pole mama pole wazazi wake marafiki wake the sporting fraternity who are here na wananchi wa sehemu hii huyu Kelvin ingawaje alizaliwa katika sehemu hii alikuwa amevuka mipaka ya kijiji yake kaunti yake akawa ni mkenya ambaye alitambulika na vile mumeona hata katika kifo yake dunia mzima imeungana kwa sababu ya kijana huyu Kevin and therefore we've come here as friends as family as leaders to condole with the family on the demise of this great Kenyan and a world beater um, I got to know about the passing on of Kelvin from CS Ababu I think it was maybe a few hours after it happened and it was really a very heavy moment for us because in Kelvin we saw the future of athletics in Kenya and Kelvin has stood out not just as a great athlete but more importantly as a good person alikuwa ni mtu mwenye roho safi na tumekuja hapa kumpatia rambi rambi zetu za pole na za kwaheri na hata katika kifo yake Kelvin is talking to us in many ways anatuzungumzia kama wa Kenya hata katika kifo yake kwa sababu huyu Kevin alikuwa ni mtu vile imesemwa hapa na wale walikuwa wanafanya kazi na yeye he was ambitious disciplined and focused kwa sababu alikuwa ametoka mahali palipo chini sana lakini kwa sababu ya bidii na kujitolea alifika mahali amevunja rekodi ya dunia huyu kijana ambaye alitoka familia ambaye haijulikani sehemu ndogo ya Chepkorio lakini leo rekodi ya dunia iko na jina yake na ni kwa sababu alijitolea hakutaka kuwa na sababu he had more reasons not to succeed than he had to succeed but he worked against the odds he could have said i come from a village that is not very known very well known or i come from a family that cannot get up for me or that i don't have even running shoes you had him that he ran barefoot in his earlier days but he didn't see those as impediments to his ambition and to his success 
I say, Kevin, even in his death, is speaking to us as Kenya. That we may not have gold, we may not have so much, and that should not deter us from being the great country that we must be. All of us, as the people of Kenya, we must love this country enough to be able, each and every one of us, to do their best to make Kenya great. Kelvin had just joined the many heroes that we have, the great ambassadors of our country, our sportsmen and women that keep Kenya on the world map. And I know that we had faith, we had hope that he would keep Kenya in that map even in the coming Olympics in Paris. But since we have you, our athletes, and you have heard from all of us, Paris is going to be the Olympics that is going to define this man, Kevin. We want you to make Paris an Olympics of Kevin Kiptum. Mutusaidie na tunajua mkona uwezo. Nataka nuambia wanariada wetu na sportsmen wote wataifa letu la Kenya, sportsmen and women wa Kenya kwamba sisi tuko na mpango kamili wakati tumechaguliwa 2022 mnajua tayari Kenya ilikuwa katika orodha ya nchi ambazo zingepigwa marufuku we were candidates for being banned for matters doping. And it took us as an administration. I remember sending a babu na mwamba, and we had to engage our friend Sebastian Ko. When I sat with him in my office, I asked him a simple question. What do I do so that Kenya is not banned? And he asked me that for Kenya not to be banned, you have to do one, two, three, four, and you have to put a fund of 500, almost 750 million Kenya shillings every year to deal with the problem of doping. I am very happy that we complied and Kenya today is off the list of countries to be banned for doping. <laughs> Sebastian Go was here himself. He has had to leave. And I want to thank him because he is a friend of Kenya. Why not for him? He went, he bent over backwards to accommodate our country. Mimi nataka ni waulize wanariada wetu. Mumejaliwa na mungu. Bidi yenu imewafikisha mbali, musikubali. Mambo haya ya madawa, ya haribu, talanta itzenu, na ya haribu, sifa yenu kama wanariadha wa taifa letu la Kenya tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi 
and I have made a commitment that every year we are going to have five million dollars as we committed to world athletics to make sure that we deal with the problem of doping in Kenya. Our plan is to spend close to three and billion over the next five years in dealing with that problem because we cannot fathom a situation where Kenya is in the wrong list. Number two, Vile Waziri Amesema Tulianzisha fund ya sports fund pale 2015 nafikiri. Na tulianzisha hiyo fund makusudi kwa sababu hatukukuwa na fund kamili ya kushughulika na wachezaji wetu. We didn't have a dedicated proper fund for managing sports in Kenya. That's why we came up with a sports fund. Unfortunately, along the way, 60% of that fund was taken to do other things. I want to tell the sporting fraternity that we have now reinstated sports fund to deal with only matters sports. Now that fund is going to be dedicated 100% to making sure that we deal with only matters sports. And I want to confirm to you that the study you have asked for, all the other facilities, the training centers you have asked for, will now become a possibility because we have secured funding for it. And we have eliminated all the other issues from being funded by sports fund. Um, we have other interventions tuko na maneno ya endowment fund ambayo tumeanzisha kushughulika na eh, wachezaji wetu wote pia tuko na pension fund ambayo tunawauliza kila mwanariadha aweze ku, eh, kujisajili na hiyo tutasaidia kama serikali kuhakikisha ya kwamba wanariadha wetu wakisha fika retirement na tunajua retirement ya wana riadha inakuja mapema pia watakuwa na pesa ya kuhakikisha kwamba wana riadha wetu hawaishi maisha ambayo sio mazuri baada ya wakati wao wa kuinua na kuweka heshima katika taifa letu so yale mambo yote mmesema hapa tayari Waziri ako na maelekezo yangu kuhakikisha kwamba haya mambo yote yanashughulikiwa. Najua mumeuliza hapa Chekorio tuweze kutengeneza hii kiwanja. Hii kiwanja tutatengeneza. Kiwanja ya Kamarin tutatengeneza. Kiwanja ya Iten tutatengeneza. Ile ya Eldoret tutatengeneza. Hizo zote kwa sababu sasa ile pesa ilikuwa inatumika kwa mambo mengine tumeaondoa katika budget yetu ya mwaka huu we will only have matters sports and i am going to tell members of parliament we are bringing the sports fund law to parliament so that we can amend to eliminate all the other things that were inadvertently put that is compromising the fund in matters funding sports so tutashirikiana namna hiyo nakimbia acha na yeye sasa watabunga nitabunyinyo acha tu aketi hapa pelekeni yeye aketi hapa tabunyinyo tabunyinyo aketi hapo so um tutashirikiana sisi wote 
kuhakikisha kwamba fund yetu hiyo tukiungana na bunge na nimeshukuru wabunge wengi hapa wameongea na wamesema ya kwamba tutashirikiana pamoja vile vile tumekubaliana sisi wote kwamba ili tuwashughulikie hawa wanariadha wakiwemo wachezaji wale wengine wote wana sporti wote katika taifa letu la Kenya pia tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutazidi na kutengeneza mbinu mpya ya kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo kazi ita timia ya kuhakikisha kwamba wanariadha wetu wakipata pesa zao wanapata mafunzo wanapata taratibu na vile vile even our reward system we are going to adjust our reward system so that it is not about just money for today that it also becomes money for the future and i'm asking ababu and your team to sit down and recalibrate our reward system so that there is uh, money that is available there is money that is uh, given as a reward but there is also money that is put in a pension system to support the athletes after they retire kwa huyu kijana kelvin tayari serikali ya kenya vile tulishakubaliana na vile tumeweka taratibu mpya huyu kijana tushampatia milioni tano tayari na serikali itampatia nyumba mzuri mbali na ile nyumba tumejenga hapa tutampatia nyumba mzuri huyu kijana e, sasa tutampatia mjane wake na tutapangana na hawa bio, hawa e, wanariadha pamoja na wachezaji wale wengine wote e, so that we can support our sportsmen and women so otherwise mimi eh, naungana na wale wanasema tufupishe kwa sababu hii mahali ni baridi <laughs> tuseme ukweli <laughs> hata huyu rigiji ameniambia siku ile nakuja tena hapa ni muambie ndiye asikuje anasema <laughs> hii dunia iko iko ngumu sana lakini eh, kwa watu wa sehemu hii hapa Chepkorio pia tuko na mpango katika ile mpango yetu ya mambo ya transformation ya Kenya hapa Chepkorio tuko na soko ambayo tutajenga ya shilingi milioni hamsini, tutajenga soko hapa hapa Chepkorio pia ni candidate ya affordable housing katika ile affordable housing ya Elgeyo Marakwet Chepkorio hapa ni moja ya sehemu ambayo tutajenga tutakuwa na mpango ya affordable housing na kazi zile zingine zote nimesikia ya stima ya barabara ya zile zingine zote e, tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi to all the other people that are working with us in this space e, that are sponsors the people that are managers we want to work together towards developing this resource a great resource for Kenya and a great resource globally so mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wa Elgeyo Marakwet nyinyi ni watu wa BT mumechunga mazingira kwa njia ya kipekee mimi nataka niseme pongezi kazi zile zingine zote ambazo mume, tumekubaliana pamoja na nyinyi niliwaambia juzi wakati nilikuwa hapa Elgeyo Marakwet ya kwamba mambo ya Flospa tunashughulikia sasa tumemaliza na tume award contract na mwenye kuja kuendesha hiyo maneno 
sasa atakuja hapa kiwanjani wewe governor ujipange na watu wako ndio tuweze eh, kuendesha hiyo kazi kazi yenu ya county aggregation and industrial park vile vile tumekamilisha na sasa ujenzi itaanza kwa hivyo mambo yale mengine mengi hapa katikati nikirudi tena tutakuja tushughulike pamoja na nyinyi so otherwise asanteni sana um, to the great uh, family of uh, athletics kenya and athletes who are here the athletics community you have our support you have my uh, commitment that we are going to deal with all the issues to make sure that you continue to be the great ambassadors of our country. Kwa Mama Asenath nitaketi chini na governor wenu alafu tukubaliane ile kazi itatoshana na huyu mama ndio waweze aweze kusimamia watoto wa kijana wetu mwanariadha Kevin Kiptum so otherwise asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa Chief Corio poleni tena kwa kumpoteza huyu kijana wetu uh, Kevin poleni sana and uh, we all need to be um, mindful of our lifestyles so that we can avoid instances like this that in a very young young age a very promising uh, good kenyan has lost his life tutashirikiana pamoja na pia wazazi and the coaches and all the other people that are involved the managers they should do more to make sure that we mentor these young people and young athletes into great sportsmen and women. Uh, watu kama na, kama kina Paul Tergat, you should do more. Um, the other older um, sportsmen and women, they should do more in mentoring the younger ones and guiding the younger ones so that we can um, assist them to be successful athletes and successful Kenyans. We will do our part as the government of Kenya and we uh, I implore on everybody else to do their part. So Mutyami Singh, big up uh Nipship Korea Mutya Eng Nalega Kevin na lecture na lag kutani ke moe ko ka kwa en betu ta ke eh polen sana may kevin's soul rest in eternal peace asante sana thank you your excellency na sasa tukienda kumalizia ibada nitamuita philip kiplagat Aje apatiane vote of thanks on behalf of the family. Alafu tumalizie kwa benediction. Bishop Korir will give us the benediction as we exit. I'll guide you on the exit.